All right, we are live. <laughs> Happy Tuesday and welcome back to the New Era Fit Reset program. My name is Adriana Lee with New Era Fit. And today's workout is going to be a yoga class blended with cardio. So kind of a yoga hit, but not exactly. Um, so no props are needed for today. Definitely recommend having some water, maybe even a little towel for sweat um, since we will be doing some cardio. Um, but other than that, you won't really need anything. Um, if your knees are sensitive, always feel free to grab a blanket. But for today's practice, there's only really one spot where you might want it. Um, yeah, and then as you're getting set up, maybe just put on some music, something to keep you motivated and inspired as we get into our workout. So I hope that your weeks are off to a good start. Um, today, we're not exactly doing a HIT class, high intensity interval training, um, but we are gonna be spreading in some cardio throughout. So you will definitely be getting your heart rate up and then we'll be bringing it back down with more of a, I don't wanna call it a rest, but kind of an active recovery phase. All right, so we'll just give it like maybe about another minute for people to log in. <sighs> Happy September. I can't believe that we're already in September. This is wild. What a year. <laughs> All right. I think we should be good to go ahead and get started. Um, if you're still logging in, you don't need any props other than your yoga mat um, and maybe a little towel to wipe your sweat just in case. Um, but as you're, as you're getting settled in, go ahead and come into a comfortable cross-legged seat. And we'll start with just like a brief meditation. So let your eyes close, let your palms rest facing down on your knees for grounding and take a moment to feel yourself sitting up tall. And if sitting up tall doesn't feel so good with your um, legs crossed, you can sit however is comfortable for you and however allows you to sit as tall as possible. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And as you exhale, draw your belly in and relax your shoulders down away from your ears. And place your hands together at your heart. And take a moment to choose an intention for your practice today. Our class is going to be all about doing hard things and making the hard choice. So take a moment to decide what that means for you. Maybe it's just the fact that you got here today. Maybe you had work before, maybe you were taking care of your kids, whatever it was that happened before this moment, I'm sure the easier choice was to sit down and watch TV or scroll on your phone. So take a moment to celebrate that you've already made that first hard choice. And now decide what other hard choice you could make. Maybe it's setting a boundary. Maybe it's choosing to push yourself. Whatever that might be, take a moment to breathe that in and visualize how much stronger or how much more peaceful or patient you'll be once that hard choice is over with. And then relax your arms down by your sides and we'll come into Baddha Konasana. Place the soles of your feet together and your knees wide. You can grab onto your ankles. Take an inhale, sit up tall. And as you exhale, start to twist. So maybe your left hand comes to your ankle, right hand comes to your knee, or maybe your right hand comes behind your back, left hand all the way to your knee, just twisting as far as feels good. Inhale, sit up even taller, lengthen from your rib cage. Exhale, press your feet together and maybe twist another centimeter. Then inhale, unwind. Place your hands back on your ankles, sit tall. And as you exhale, this time come into a gentle forward fold. So not going to your maximum, just waiting for that moment where you feel a stretch and it feels like, you know what, this is a good place to be. Hang out there. Inhale, find a little more length. Exhale, draw your belly in, maintaining a long spine as you fold. And then inhale, come back up to seated. And exhale, straight into the left side twist. So maybe right hand to ankle, left hand to knee. Maybe left hand behind your back, right hand to your knee. And feel for making this twist happen from your rib cage rather than your lower back. And in this position, I, th I think it's a little bit easier to focus the twist in your ribs. One more breath here. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, twist. And then unwind out of your twist and lay down on your back. All right, we're going to get into some active hamstring stretching. So you'll keep your left knee bent and extend your right leg out to straight. You can point or flex your toes, does not matter. Keep your hips pretty level on the ground. Kick your leg towards your chest and then come back down. Kick and come back down. 
I like to push down a little bit through my lower back. That helps me keep my hips stable. Good. We're going to do three more. Last two, maybe getting a little closer to your chest each time. And last one. Switch sides, right knee bends, extend your left leg, kick to the face and lower. Kick and lower. Kick to the face sounds a little aggressive. <laughs> you know what I meant. <laughs> Good. Four more. Three two and last one all right lower both feet to the ground and then we'll set up for elbow to knee which is kind of like bicycles but slower so it is abdominal work clasp your hands together behind your head and send your elbows up towards the sky so you have a really strong basket for your head then lift your knees up or always as an option you can keep your feet down to start inhale curl your head and shoulders up Hold your breath for a moment, push your low back into the ground, then exhale, twist your elbows towards your left knee without moving your left knee and extend your right leg straight up into the air. Inhale, bend both knees, lift your chest and shoulders high. Hold your breath, push your low back down, exhale, twist elbows to the right and send your left leg up into the air. Inhale, bend both knees, lift your elbows high. Hold your breath, push your low back down, exhale, twist to the left, either reach your right leg up into the air or extend it forward for a little more intensity. Inhale, bend your knees, lift up. Hold your breath, push your low back down. Exhale, twist to the right and either reach your left leg up or send it forward. Inhale, bend your knees. Hold, push your low back down. Exhale, twist to the left and extend your right leg, either forward or up. One more, inhale, lift. Hold your breath, push your low back down. Exhale, twist elbows right and either reach your left leg forward or up. Inhale, come back to center. Set your head down, lower your feet down. All right, bridge rolls. Relax your arms by your sides. Make sure that your feet are directly underneath your knees and feet are hip width apart. Then when you're ready, push into your heels, send your hips up to the sky. Inhale, lower your hips back down. Exhale, push your hips to the sky, engage your glutes. Inhale, lower. Good, keep going for four. Last three last two on this last one we're going to lift up and hold and pulse it out for six five four three two push even higher one hold for three two one roll your hips all the way back down to the ground and then from here we'll go into one-legged teaser so this is a little bit challenging you're going to be more than welcome to come back into bridge or to find those hamstring kicks instead if this feels like too much but for one-legged teaser you'll keep your left knee bent extend your right leg forward reach your arms overhead take a breath in to prepare and as you exhale you're going to come up like you're going into boat pose so lift your chest and lift your right leg then inhale lower back down now another option as you exhale is to keep the right knee bent as you come up you can even use your right hand to help and then inhale, lower back down. Good, just five on this side. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. So last one here. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Good, inhale, roll all the way back down. And then switch sides. Bend your right knee. Straighten out your left. Take a breath in to prepare. And exhale, lift up into your version of one-legged teaser. Inhale, lower. And exhale, lift. Good, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Awesome, last two, exhale, lift, last one. Try to find a long spine as you lift. Inhale, lower, and relax, bend both knees. All right, one-legged bridge. <laughs> Very last thing on our backs, I think. You're gonna cross your right leg over your left just like you're sitting casually in a chair, and heel toe your left foot so that it's in line with your tailbone. Relax your arms by your sides, take a breath in, and as you exhale, keep your hips at the same height as you lift up, and then inhale, lower back down. So one of the things that you wanna avoid is shaking around in your hips a lot. So try to lift up really smooth and lower down smooth. Good, and we're just going to five. So you have two more here. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. And last one, inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Good, relax, uncross your legs and then switch left leg over right. Take a breath in, exhale, push into your right foot, lift your hips and lower back down. So you may not be lifting as high as you would in a normal bridge, and that's totally okay. What you're trying to do is use your deep core muscles to stabilize your hips as you lift so that there's no shaking and so that your hips stay level the whole time. All right, last two. And last one. 
Perfect. All right, bend your knees. You can either roll over onto your side to come up to seated or rock and roll yourself up into a tabletop position. We'll take a couple rounds of cat cow. As you inhale, drop your belly, heart forward, look up. Exhale, round out your spine. Inhale, drop your belly, collarbones forward, look up. Exhale, push the earth away, round your spine, draw your belly in. And last one, inhale, find your cow. Exhale for cat. Inhale, come back into neutral. Now extend your right leg straight back, lift it to the height of your hip. Extend your left arm forward with your palm facing in like you're gonna shake someone's hand. Take an inhale here, and then exhale, squeeze in elbow to knee. Inhale, reach forward, kick back. Exhale, squeeze elbow to knee. And just one more here, inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reach everything back out. Keep your right leg lifted, but lower your left hand down for sunbird bow. So this is kind of like a modified chaturanga with your left knee down, but the right leg lifted, and then you're gonna push yourself back up. So your elbows are kind of grazing your ribs, but you don't have to squeeze them in too much. All right, we're gonna go for five. So you've got three more. Bend and push, bend and push. Great job, last one and push awesome lower your right knee down extend your left leg back lift it to the height of your hip reach your right arm forward like you're going to shake someone's hand breathe in exhale squeeze in elbow to knee good inhale reach exhale squeeze everything in engage your core last three last two and last one inhale reach Exhale, squeeze. On your inhale, reach everything out one last time. Lower your right hand down and get ready for five rounds of sunbird bow. So bend your elbows, leg will lift up, and then push. You don't have to bring your chest all the way to the ground, but bring it towards the ground. Three more. Two, use your breath to help you. Exhaling on the way up. Last one. Awesome, release your knee back down. And then from here, we'll go into downward facing dog, curl your toes under, send your hips up and back and straighten your legs if that's available. Otherwise, keep them bent so that you have a long spine. Take a moment here. And when you're ready, walk your feet towards the top of the mat and we'll come into a ragdoll position. So bend your knees a lot so that your belly and your thighs are connected and grab onto opposite elbows. Let your head hang heavy. You can find a gentle sway side to side if that feels good. Or you can nod your head yes and shake your head no to release any tension from your neck. And release your hands to the ground and rise all the way up to standing. Roll out your shoulders once or twice and then we'll get into sun salutation B with lunges. So to start out, come to the top of your mat. As you inhale, bend your knees back into chair pose, lift your arms up. Exhale, fold forward, lower your hands towards the mat. Inhale, come up to a flat back, hands to shins, lengthen out your spine. Exhale, step back into plank, and you have one push-up here, any type of push-up you'd like. And then from here, push straight back into down dog. Step your right foot forward and come into a crescent lunge. So push into your back toes and rise up. We've got fists of fire lunges. So as you inhale, everything will straighten. Arms up and back leg will straighten. And as you exhale, bend both knees a lot, almost like you're trying to tap your back knee to the ground and squeeze your elbows in, make a fist. Inhale, straighten the back leg, squeeze your glute, lift your arms. Exhale. Bring your elbows in. We'll do three more. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. <sighs> inhale, exhale, squeeze. <sighs> One more. Inhale, exhale, tap your left knee down and squeeze. Inhale, everything back up. Exhale, hands down. Step to plank. Now you've got two push ups. <sighs> and straight back to downward facing dog. Other side. Left foot between your hands, stay high on your right toes. Rise up into a crescent lunge, fist of fire. Inhale here, squeeze your right glute to straighten your leg. Exhale, elbows in by your sides, bend your knee. Inhale up, exhale, squeeze. Inhale up, exhale, squeeze. Good, two more. And last one. Awesome, inhale everything back up. 
Exhale, hands to the ground, step to plank. You've got three push-ups for three, two, and one. Push back into down dog. Take a moment here. I know down dog is not a resting pose, but we're gonna use it as one for right now. Huge inhale and slow exhale. Walk your feet to the top of the mat. Inhale to come up to a flat back, hands to shins, and exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees, lift your arms, and exhale, forward fold, hands to the ground. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step to plank. This time we'll take a chaturanga push-up into up dog. So always an option to come to your knees, bend your elbows, uncurl your toes, and lift into up dog, or feel free to do cobra. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Step your right foot between your hands. Stay high on your back toes, rise up into a lunge. Inhale. Exhale, bend your knee, tap the ground, then rise back up. You're gonna extend forward, float your back leg up into warrior three, and lower your toes to the ground. We're gonna do that four times. So when you're ready, bend your knee, straighten, weight forward, lift your back leg. Toes to the ground, knee to the ground, straighten, and weight forward, warrior three. Good, two more. Top your knee, straighten, weight forward, lift the back leg, lower your toes, tap your knee, straighten, last one, warrior three, and lower to your lunge. Good, hands down, step to plank, chaturanga push up, into up dog. Inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot forward now, find your lunge, inhale, arms up, and same thing. You're gonna tap your knee down, straighten, and float back into warrior three. Toes, knee, <laughs> straighten, and warrior three. Good, two more. Tap your toes, straighten your leg, engage your glute, lift the back leg using your glute. Last one. Use your breath to help you. Inhale in your lunge, and exhale. This time you're gonna go straight to downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Exhale, let it go. Walk your feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, come to a flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend your knees into chair. And exhale, straighten your legs. Bring your hands to your heart. All right, you've got some burpees and air squats coming up. So for our burpees, we'll be doing five and then resting in five air squats. We're gonna do that four times. All right, so when you're ready, your options are if you don't wanna jump, you can come up onto your toes, step to plank, step forward, come up onto your toes. The other option is jumping. So when you're ready, take a breath in to prepare and let's go for five. Find your breath and go at whatever pace works for you. If you need to slow it down, feel free. If you're doing the same pace as me, this is your last one and then you're in an air squat when you're done. So you're gonna bend your knees and then straighten, sending your hips forward. Hips back and straighten. Three more. Two. This is your active recovery. Last one. Five more burpees. Great job, last one. I have wrist sensitivity, so sometimes I do these on my fists with my thumbs down, so if that applies to you, always feel free to do so, or step back instead of jumping back. One more air squat, and back into our burpees. Jump up, jump back, jump up, jump back, or calf raise, walk back, Half raise, walk back. Either way, you've got one more. And back into your air squats for five, four, three, last two, and last one. Take an inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Place your hands on the ground, step back to plank, lower your knees down, and come down onto your forearms. If your shoulders are a little bit sensitive, you can clasp your hands together. 
Otherwise, keep them in a number 11 shape. All right, we're gonna go into forearm hip twist and then a side plank hold, all right? So when you're ready, find your forearm plank. We're twisting for 10. Six, four, three, two, one. Come over onto your left side forearm. You can reach your right arm up. You can always use your right leg as a kickstand or lower your left knee down. Just a breath here. And back into those forearm hip twists. Eight, six, three, two, one. Over to the right side forearm plank. Hold, catch your breath. And back to your hip twist for 10. Eight, six, four, three, two, one. Back to the left side forearm plank just for a couple breaths. One more breath. Back, very last round for 10. Eight, six, four, three, two, one. Right side forearm plank. Hold and breathe, two deep breaths. You can always use your foot as a kickstand in front or behind. Back onto forearms and then sit back. All right, one last little push before cool down. We're gonna get into our high to low boats. So go ahead and come into a seat. For high to low boats, you have so many options to modify. You can keep your feet on the ground, find a low boat by leaning back, high boat by lifting up, hands on the ground, high boat by lifting up, low boat by extending your legs forward, bending your elbows back. Or you can start with knees bent, come down to low boat, up to high boat, or any other variation that you know of. We are gonna go just to eight, and then we're gonna hold our low boat when you're ready. Lift into your version of boat for today, and then take it down to low, high, low. Good, six more, five, four, try to keep your knees together, three, two, and one. You can do hard things. Hold that low boat for five, four, three, two, on one, lay down on your back and let that go. <laughs> All right, time for your cool down. So squeeze your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little hug, gently rock side to side. <sighs> Slow down your breath. And then we'll take this into a half happy baby. So bend your right knee, stack your ankle right over your knee and either grab onto the outside of your foot, somewhere along the back of your leg, wherever you can reach. Then lower your left foot to the ground and let your left knee fall open to the side into a half Baddha Konasana shape. You can use your right hand to gently pull your knee down towards the ground. Feeling for a stretch in your hamstrings and your hips. And then we'll switch sides. Take your left knee back up to center, lower your right foot down, then left knee towards your chest. Either grab the outside of your foot, ankle, shin, back of the hamstrings, whatever works, and then open your right knee out to the side. Use your left hand to gently pull your left knee down just outside of your rib cage. And then take the right knee back to center, left foot down, Squeeze both knees into your chest and roll all the way over onto your right side. Take a moment to stack your ankles, your knees, and your hips. Lay your right hand either on your thigh or your ribs, whatever's comfortable, and reach your left arm overhead. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, let your chest open towards the ceiling. If your left shoulder blade easily touches the ground, then you can extend your left arm out to the side. Otherwise, protect your shoulder by keeping your arm overhead. One more breath here. And then unwind out of the twist. Dry your knees into your chest and roll all the way over onto your left side, stacking ankles, knees, and hips. Take your right arm overhead, lay your left hand wherever it's comfortable. And then as you exhale, start to rotate your chest open towards the ceiling 
keeping your hips stacked on top of each other. That's important. If your right shoulder blade easily touches the ground, then go ahead and extend your arm out. Otherwise, keep it overhead. And then roll back onto your back and set up for your final Shavasana. If you'd like to keep your knees bent, you can widen them to the edges of the mat and let your knees fall in against each other. That can be a little bit more comfortable for your lower back if you have any low back sensitivity. Otherwise, extend your legs straight out into a more traditional Shavasana. Let your arms open by your sides with your palms facing up. And use the next breath or two to adjust as much as you need to get as comfortable as possible. And then once you're comfortable, do your best to stay still. Staying still is a hard thing. When our lives are busy and we're constantly moving and thinking and planning, stillness can be really challenging, but also a really nice way to reset your nervous system, give yourself a little bit of a break. And you deserve that break. It's not easy to get your body to totally relax, so do that hard thing right now. Relax your jaw. Relax your shoulders, your legs, your glutes. And as you discover tension in your body, invite yourself to relax one layer more. Now begin to deepen your breath. Gently wiggle your fingers and toes and roll your head side to side, reawakening your spine. And take a deep breath in and reach your arms over your head, point your toes, stretch your whole body long. Exhale and roll over onto your side, coming into fetal position just for a moment. And then press yourself all the way back up to a comfortable seat and place your hands together at your heart once you arrive. Take a moment to honor yourself and the fact that you did this hard thing today. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name again is Adriana Lee with Neora Fit. Namaste. All right. Thank you, guys. And I hope to see you back again next week. We're doing more of a Pilates-style class then. But enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you next time. Bye.